Okay, let's take a look at Geist CM. Uh, once you've installed it and authorized it, load it up. You can load it up standalone or as we're going to look at it now in your door. Now in the top left hand corner you should see two content icons. These are Geist Lite Factory and Geist Lite CM. If the Geist Lite CM icon isn't available, use the file browser to the right of the contents list to navigate your way to Documents, F Expansion, Geist Lite Contents. In here you'll find the Geist Lite CM folder. Um, just drag this over to the contents list and it'll be added and you can access it easily. The Geist Lite Factory Content folder includes loads of preset kits and loops. Let's try loading some of them up now. Click the Geist Lite Factory icon, then in the browser on the right double click the presets then the kit folder. Predictably enough you're presented with a list of preset kits. Let's load a kit. Drag 909 Old School from the list of kits onto the pads at the bottom of the interface. These pads will flash to show you that you can load the kit onto them. When you release the button you'll see the names of the drum sounds appear on each pad and you can click the pads to play them. You'll notice when you play the pads that the corresponding row in the step sequencer uh, above uh, lights up. You can use the pattern sequencer to create beats in plugin or standalone mode. Um, and if you're using uh, Geist Lite as a plugin, you can also trigger the drum sounds directly using uh, MIDI. Let's take a look at using the pattern sequencer. To add beats, just click on the grid. Copy the pattern we've made here. To play the beat back, you can either press the play button on Geist Lite's interface or just press play in your door. There are also some cool MIDI based shortcuts for editing uh, patterns and switching between the different patterns. Um, for more details on this functionality, um, check out page 10 of uh, manual PDF in the documentation folder. Geist Lite offers extremely deep editing possibilities for each pad. Uh, each pad can have multiple layers and each of these has its own envelope filter, tuning and time stretch settings amongst other parameters that you can mess with. To access these, select the pad you want to edit by clicking it, then select pad slash layers at the top of the screen. Now there are far too many sound sculpting tools to cover in this tutorial, um, so if you need more information then uh, you can see page 16 of the manual for that. The beat in the pattern sequencer is independent of the sounds on the pads, so you can drag another preset kit onto the pads and the same beat rhythm will uh, play back with the new sounds. Let's take a look at how you can add your own drum sounds. Right click the drum pad and select clear all pads. Next click the Geist Lite CM icon in the top left hand corner of the interface and a list of drum categories will appear in the browser next to it. Double click one of these folders to open it and then drag one of the contained samples onto a pad. Now you'll notice that uh, counterintuitively the drum sample won't drop on there and that is because uh, slice mode is selected so uh, we need to turn that off before we can uh, drag a drum onto a pad. OK, that's how you can start to build up your own kits. Um, finally, let's see how Geist handles loops. So click where it says Geist in the master panel and select Reset Geist. Now we want to activate the Slice button at the bottom of the browser to enable it. And then we'll navigate our way in the Geist Lite Factory to the Loops folder. And we'll double click a loop and this will bring up the waveform display. So select the Extract Loop Plus Pattern button under the Waveform view and then click Done and voila, the loop is automatically sliced and sequenced.